so we have just pulled up to car four car four or whatever you want to call it to do some laundry and um get some food but we are notoriously useless at buying food in the van because we've got a small fridge we tend to just buy snacks so we're trying to be better we're trying to be good it doesn't always happen our first job of the week was to stock up on food and whilst we did the food shop we took advantage of the on-site washing machines to get our laundry done before making our way further towards Spain. So it is day, wait what, what day is it? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, day six in France and we are finally having some French baguette. Baguette. And it smells amazing. Obviously, with English butter. Not an ad. Right, how's your how's your French bread? Fantastico. That's Italian. Magnifique. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's pretty French. <laughs> Welcome to One Pot Wonders with Chef Dave. So just about to start making the oh shit, I nearly fell over. <laughs> just gonna make some dinner tonight we've got chicken broccoli and sweet potato uh when you're in a van it's kind of ideal to try and get it all in one pan saves washing up uh so yeah let's see how this turns out so there's the dinner and today we are cooking with a view don't get much better than that here's dave slaving away oh, as usual We've got sweet potato on the go. I like chopping up in little small bits. That way they cook quicker. And I also think sweet potato fries better than normal potatoes. Like I said earlier, uh, one pot wonders. So we try and do everything in one pan. Try and keep the washing down to a minimum. And the flavor up to maximum. Oh my <laughs> God. How good was that? That was fucking awful. <laughs> and down what Gordon Ramsay says, pan down, to see the goods, pan right in there, right in there, right in there. see that sweet potato goodness steaming up the frame. Is that alright? That's beautiful. Alright, so there we go, dinner served, as the French say, bon appétit, bon, bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Come on. Oh my god. Enjoy. We woke up to a beautiful sunrise before getting back on the road to finally cross the border into Spain. Our first job of the day, though, was to fill up on fresh water and empty our waste. Um, the waste thing's on that side. <laughs> you just moved your van. Yeah. Moved your van? Moved your van. Okay. Your van. That's my wife, everyone. Graceful <laughs> as ever. Ten minutes later. This is the way getting water done. <laughs> Get water! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> just had a massive panic. Jay just looked under the van and water is absolutely pouring out from underneath. But what have you just done? Filled up the tank too much. Just overfilled it, it's alright. 
never filled up before all the way. So I didn't know what happened when it did. And so I thought I'd, like, obviously we've been in cold temperatures. I thought that it was, like, frozen or something. We're good. Don't worry. But, well, hopefully we are. I don't actually know. So, water just started blowing out of the fresh water tank. Turns out there is a little overfill valve. So all of our water tanks are all full. Quick little empty of the doggies water tanks. And now we're on our way to Spain. Let's go Bobs, we're going to Spain. Uh, so we've just crossed over the border from France into Spain. Uh, we had all of our documents ready, we had passports, Covid vaccines, we had everything. And we turned up, nothing. there's absolutely nothing. There's no border control, there's no toll booths, there's absolutely the toll booths nothing. had collapsed on onto each other. Yeah, so... The whole thing has just collapsed. So, yeah, so if anyone wants to come to Spain, it's really easy to get in. The reason why we were worried was because when we left Spain last time, back in 2019, we were nearly not allowed back into France because we'd forgotten our V5. Um, well, we, we hadn't forgotten it, we just lost it. And we had it in the van somewhere, but we didn't know where. So we thought that there would be another checkpoint like there was coming out, but no, nothing. We had finally made it into Spain, and after a long drive, the dogs finally got what they'd been waiting for, an empty beach all to themselves. So we just need a little refill on the dog biscuit situation. So we keep like a week's supply of dog biscuits in this tin. Um, and then we have a big old 20 kg worth of biscuits. It's not 20, I don't know what it is. No. Can't be pretty close to that. Look at that. And, and it's all got a scoop, so we're using our kitchen ladle. <laughs> Good thing we never use that. <laughs> we never use it. <laughs> Especially with just, just scoop it into my mouth. <laughs> She'll catch all the bottom bits. We parked up here for two days, enjoying the sunshine and resting up after a long drive. Um, exploring the town of St. Marty de Empuries. Yes. It's oh. like a Roman, I don't know, I did read it. A Roman settlement, Greek settlement. I will tell you later. Let's go explore.
and Marti d'Empuris is a lovely small town near Escala. It is highly worth a visit if exploring the Costa Brava area. With its quaint little streets, beautiful beaches and its historic significance, it really is something not to be missed. As for accessibility, they made an excellent effort to ensure wheelchair access throughout the village, with some questionable ramps and steep hills, but overall, it was very accessible and would definitely recommend for wheelchair users. So we have just pulled up to our park up. Oh, we don't know, maybe for tonight? At least for this afternoon, just to get some work done. But the dogs are enjoying it. And the beach is right there. It's beautiful, it's lovely and quiet. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have an investigate, see if there are any signs uh, prohibiting staying here overnight. There are a couple of other campers around, but they're the small ones. The height barrier has actually been taken down, which allowed us in, so yeah, we'll see. We ended up having to move to a different location in the evening because the winds were so strong, but turned out to be a good thing. Come on! Morning everyone, just woken up in Torella de Montgri. Absolute beautiful morning. It is already, I don't know, it says it's like 16 degrees, but it feels like it's about 25. Just over there's the beach. Uh, we're just gonna go for a little wonder before it gets even hotter. Yeah, we're going bird watching. We're going bird watching. Just behind the camera, where you can't see right now. But we'll I'm gonna swing you, around. It is a lovely big nature reserve. So we've got our binoculars. Dave's never used them before, so it's going to be a learning experience. Cool. Let's go and explore. Access at its finest. So it gives you all the information on the most common bird species in the area. Are you ready? Here we have the disabled man looking for bird species. I think it's safe to say that I'm definitely not going to become the next David Attenborough. Next week, Dave takes on his first solo supermarket shop in Spain.
we explore some beautiful areas in my own little Eden and enjoy some lovely park ups and some not so lovely. We face a few equipment issues and my smart drive has died. And we learn that Bobby knows what Mackie D's is. He knows we're getting Mackie D's. <laughs>